this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create a donut. Now, as simple as it sounds, there's a video on creating a donut that is over four hours long. So this is what we are going to achieve at the end of this tutorial. We're going to end up creating a donut and it's going to take us less than, obviously less than four hours. We're going to use two add-ons and these two add-ons already come with Blender. All you have to do is to go and activate them. So you can go into edit preferences and search for these add-ons. Search for the snow add-on, real snow, and then activate it. And then you search for the scatter add-on. With that done, the next thing is to press shift A to add a mesh and we'll start with a torus. Now the torus is already basically the shape of a donut. All we have to do is adjust the minor radius, make it smaller. So you don't need so much segments because we are still going to add the subdivision surface to it. Then you can click on the mesh, go to modifiers, add a modifier, generate, and click on subdivision surface. Uh, here you can go ahead and increase the viewport levels to 2. So now we have a perfectly shaped round donut, but then you want it to be a bit deformed because uh, there's no perfectly shaped donut in real life. So we can go add modifier, deform, displace. So it's looking weird, but to fix this, we have to add the texture to displace it with. So click here, add a new texture, then go to your texture panel, change it from image or movie. You can use clouds. Now for the size, let's increase the size of the displacement. All right, the depth, reduce that. And then go back to the modifiers panel, the strength, I want to bring that down. All right, 0 0.2 is okay. So we have it displaced, looks more realistic. Now comes to the add-on, select the mesh, Press N to bring out this side panel. Go to your real snow and click on add snow. And then we have created the icing on the donut. Now to create those uh, sprinkles on top of it, I press shift A, add the UV sphere. Yeah, you can also keep your segments low. You don't really need the high sub the highly subdivided model for this let's just go straight into the edit mode so i want to toggle the x-ray mode and select all the faces below from wireframe mode so i can select true make sure everything is selected i'll go from the other side select Holding shift. All right. Now we can extrude all these downwards. Press E to extrude Z and Z location. All right. Go back to object mode. Let's turn off the wireframe mode. Change it to the solid and turn off the X-ray mode. Now we can take this G to grab, scale it down to the size of the sprinkles that we want. Press Ctrl A to apply all transforms. Then you can select it, go to Object Set Origin, Origin to Center of Mass of Surface. 
now this is going to help us when we want to scatter this and then we can rotate this 90 degrees on the x-axis so it to be flat and then we click on it for this uh, snow object we have added the snow to it you want to right click on it and convert it to a mesh so that will apply all the modifiers for it you can also do that to the donut so for now we select the spring cool and select the icing go to object and scatter objects and then just draw the sprinkles on top if you come here to the tool panel you can adjust the density the radius the scale and the randomness so once you have what you want you just press enter and then you have the sprinkles scattered all around your donut as easy as that you have created your donut and this is less than four hours so if you want a video of me showing you how you can also add text just to this and render it feel free to leave a comment below the video like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video